our Vieira Wireless Neighborhood Weather Network cameras. These are also looking off toward the south. Heavy rain falling in Lamar right now. Lamar, one of the areas that is near one of the severe thunderstorm warnings, we still have in effect. Another shot from Colorado Springs showing rain on the camera lens. Rain, one of the big stories out there tonight. We are also tracking the potential for damaging winds. That is why we have two severe thunderstorm warnings to tell you about from Prowers southward toward Baca County. The northern warning will stay in effect until 545. The southern warning in effect until 6 o'clock. This line of storms as it pushes eastward into Kansas is going to be capable of producing up to 70 mile per hour gusts. So very strong winds associated with that line of storms. It's the same line of storms that produced tornadoes in Los Animas County earlier this afternoon. In Colorado Springs, I don't have any warnings to tell you about, but we are still getting some pretty heavy rain up near Rock Room and also near the Broadmoor neighborhoods out toward uh, Cimarron as well as Stratmore Hills. We are continuing to track that heavy rain as it lifts off toward the north. In Pueblo, Pueblo proper has quieted down. We are tracking a cell that has just moved from Pueblo County into southern El Paso County. No warnings issued for either of those storms, but if that changes, of course, we'll let you know right here on Caridio News Channel 13. We have all the ingredients here this evening for tornadoes. Tornado producing storms to develop, which is why we have a tornado watch in effect until 9 o'clock this evening. We already had a tornado produced, as I mentioned, just to the east of Trinidad earlier today. We will be watching the potential for more tornadoes here as we head through the next couple of hours. Stick with us here on Caridio News Channel 13. We'll keep you ahead of the storm. Skycast is showing that as this wave that we are tracking outside currently moves out, we may have a bit more in the way of heavy rain that develops after sunset. Later tonight, here's a look at midnight. May have some moderate to heavy rain and even some lingering hail that will slide from El Paso County off toward Lyman and into Burlington. These are the areas where I expect the storms to last the longest before everything clears out of here by early tomorrow morning. Tomorrow we may have some patchy fog to contend with by 7 o'clock in the morning, but for the most part, tomorrow is going to be a much, much quieter day than what we had out there today. By lunchtime, still looking for plenty of sunshine to help dry things out. As we take you into the afternoon and evening, best chance for any rain will be up across the high country, so breaking it down for you will keep strong storms around through tonight. They should end late and into early tomorrow morning. Warmer and drier through your Tuesday with that warmer, drier pattern expected to last into this weekend. Temperatures tonight, we're falling into the 50s and 60s. High temperatures tomorrow, we're getting into the 80s and 90s. It's going to be a warm day tomorrow, and as I mentioned, it's going to be much drier, and we'll keep those dry conditions around all the way through the end of the work week and into the weekend. We are keeping just a very slight chance for a sprinkle or two in the forecast through your Tuesday, but other than that, things looking pretty good as we head through the weekend. Another 10% chance of storms moves in on Monday. In Pueblo, 89 degrees tomorrow. We'll keep it dry through the mid-90s. Wednesday, all the way through the weekend with upper 90s Thursday into Friday. Those look to be some of the hottest days of the next seven days. In Canyon City tomorrow, 85 degrees. 92 will be your high temperature on Wednesday. 94 to 95 Thursday into Friday. We'll keep 90s in place all the way through Monday in Teller County. Again, a very slight chance we could maybe start the day off tomorrow with a sprinkle or two. Better chance for some patchy fog, but that all gets out of here during the afternoon and evening. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, temperatures back into the 70s, and we are definitely going to get a breather from the severe weather that we have tracked out there today. But of course, I want to remind you to connect with us on Facebook, Twitter. You can track the storms with us on KRDO.com. We love seeing your photos and your videos. They really help us tell the weather story. So thank you to everybody who was safely able to capture what was happening in your neighborhood. Yeah. We can't yeah. thank you enough. Wow, it has been fierce out there this whole weekend. It's like hit and miss mm -hmm. storms. Yeah, we certainly need the water, but not like this weather.